All right, is that better? Thanks. <laughs> Thanks, Mixel. There we go. Mike is unmuted. Good tip. Pro tip. Um, I was just saying thanks so much for being here and um, um, sorry for the first few minutes of nothing but silence. Uh, but anyway, I, I, I'm really excited to be here. Uh, right. I'm uh, really better? excited um, thanks for the opportunity so. to, to, to go. game with you Mike guys. You and, and, um, Good. Yeah, I've got Rose some texts from people saying thanks, thanks, um, I was just saying thanks so much for being here. I'm telling you about that. Um, um, but uh, yeah, anyway, we're going to get started with some games here pretty quick, but just before we do get started, uh, uh, I'm just really excited what we're going to be doing, and basically we're going to play through really excited some games, but anyway, so talk about really good issues, and we're going to have a discussion, and I'm really excited to some texts from people, so I'm going to be talking about some games here, and I'm going to be talking about some games here, and yeah, this week we're going to be talking about, uh, well, I have a few things to talk about, but uh, we're also going to be talking about the uh, we're going to have at the moment, so it's like, we're going to get started, uh, but anyway, I'm really excited to be here, and basically, I'm really excited, 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 I'm really
let's get gaming. So, um, up here, Bioshock. So, um, for those of you who don't know, the Bioshock franchise uh, is there. There are three games in the Bioshock franchise. Um, they um, the first one is uh, sort of it's, they're all like this steampunk kind of um, science fiction type game. And the first one, you uh, you're, uh, you're the main character is in a plane crash and ends up in this underwater world um, that uh, looks like it's a sunken city of some sort. And uh, through it all, you sort of battle. Sorry, these are going to be some spoiler word alerts. But uh, through it all, you sort of battle. Um, 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 you know these giant sort of they're called big daddies um, and you learn about um, um, you know plans for dominating the city there's like a power struggle in the city and all that kind of stuff anyway that resolves and you find out as the main character that you were drawn there um, because of your DNA you were you know engineered to to be a certain kind of person um, the second game isn't really that related to the first except that it sort of takes place in the same place and some of the same storyline picks up it happens years after the first one and again, you're sort of drawn to the underworld's uh, city, um, and um, you'll have to forgive me because I didn't play it, but, um, but in any event, it looks like what ends up happening is somebody tries to um, start up the, the same sort of genetic engineering type program for their own benefit, and you have to put a stop to that. Um, this game obviously doesn't take place underwater, so um, I, um, I haven't played very much of it yet, um, but um, oh, I don't have my chat open. There we go. Okay, um, I haven't had a chance to play through a lot of it, but I have cheated a bit. I did play really quickly through some of it, just so that I could get a feel for it and make sure that the sound wasn't too loud or, or anything like that. Um, a few content and trigger warnings before we get started. Um, this game doesn't spare you the details and the blood and the gore, um, so if that bothers you, um, we might have to figure out how, um, you know, maybe you just participate by listening to the sound or something, I'm not sure. Um, this game also has a lot of guns and shooting and all that kind of stuff, um, so uh, keep that in mind as you're playing through. If, if anybody suffers from any kind of flashbacks associated with guns and shooting, um, please um, stop watching. And uh, finally, there are some pretty serious, um, I, I didn't realize this when I picked up the game, but I, I do now, there are some pretty serious uh, subjects in this game. Um, this game is obviously going to um, hit on um, some racism nerves. Um, it looks like racism is one of those, there's a feature of the society that we're going to be, oh, somebody, I think that means somebody followed. Anyway, um, I can't see who did. That's not good. All right, well, thanks for whoever just started following. I appreciate it very much. Um, but yeah, anyway, it seems like racism is a piece of the world that we're going to be exploring. And um, um, it looks like it challenges that racism, which is really good. But if racism is a trigger for you, then again, um, you might want to excuse yourself from, from the broadcast. Um, and uh, yeah, and finally also, it looks like there's a pretty strong damsel trope um, that this game relies on. Um, and if you're not familiar with the damsel trope, what that means is you're a primary, you're, you're probably a male hero and, uh, there's a female in distress that you have to rescue somehow. Um, if you want more details on the feminist, uh, trope, Anita Sarkeesian, um, and I can post a link to this somewhere at some point later down the road, but she does a really good job of outlining what the damsel trope is, how prevalent it is in gamer culture. And, um, sort of how tired that is as a, as a trope and a plot device. But anyway, it's going to be in this game, so so that's that's what we, we can laugh at it as we go. So without further ado, here we go. We'll get started with a new game. Yes, let's overwrite our last game. Uh, what's difficulty? Probably not. We'll, we'll just go with medium. Oh, Flu Flu Bunny. Thanks, Mixel. Um, and thank you very much for flu, to Flu Flu Bunny um, for the follow. Greatly appreciate it. Um, I, don't, uh, I don't know who you are, but um, if you want to tell me who you are, that's God. great. Oh, here we go. No. I'm afraid of you. Well, that's intense. So somebody just wrote, uh, texted me and said, Destiny is a damsel. Not 
because it needed things to make it better. I don't know what that means. If you want to elaborate, Michael, feel free. We're in a boat. I'm on a boat. I'm on a boat. And that's wonderful exercise. Then what? The entire thought experiment. Excuse me. How much longer? One goes into experiment. Okay, so Mixel just made a really good point that um, Bioshock 1 and 2 are sort of a horror genre, and that's actually true. There are some jump scares and stuff like that. Uh, but he said he warned that this game could have some of those same elements, so if horror bothers you, um, you might want to. Um, consider doing something else. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, thanks, Shelf. I appreciate that. Yes, um, Shelf says thanks for the um, or approves of the trigger content warnings. We've arrived. Here we are. We've arrived somewhere. I don't know where we've arrived. At a lighthouse. Kind of a boring destination. He's not moving. He will eventually. Oh, okay. I suppose he does. <laughs> Characters are a little pushy. How do I move? Oh, climb ladder. Shall we tell him when we'll be returning? Would that change anything? Well, might give him some comfort. He'll come back. How am I going to get off this island? Hey, is somebody meeting me here? I certainly hope so. It does seem like a dreadful place to be stranded. Oh, you jerks. You fuckers, come back. Oh, you fuckers. Oh, one other thing that I wanted to say too, before we got started, I just wanted to take a moment to identify and and um, uh, and talk really briefly about um, the seven-year-old girl uh, who was brutally attacked um, earlier this month. Uh, she's still tr struggling to recover in hospital. Um, she's a First Nations girl who was attacked. It was in it was in Calgary News, um, and before I actually even got started playing, so I feel kind of silly for not doing this earlier, but in any event, I just wanted to take a moment to say that uh, I'm thinking, uh, my thoughts are with her and with her family through what must be an incredibly difficult time over, over the holiday season. Um, I hope she makes a full recovery. Um, if any of you want to find out more about that news story, if you look at uh, CBC News and you look at the Calgary News, you'll, you'll find out about the, about the horrific attack on, on this poor little girl. So um, thoughts are, thoughts to, to that little girl. And, um, okay, so now sheepishly, I'm going to just recommence playing. So, where are we? We are... Hey, we can use this boat to get off. Looks like it might have a leak. Okay. Oh, okay. So, Meeksil says that the horror elements of this game don't really start until about halfway through or so. So, um, so good. Um, that's good. DeWitt, bring us the girl and wipe away the debt. This is your last chance. And it's smattered with blood. Why are notes like that always smattered with blood? Who's who's cutting their hands open and bleeding on pages like that? That's ridiculous. Obviously, we have to go through that door, but I want to take a look and see what's around the corner here. Aha, see? Uh, silver Eagle. All right, a can of beans. We'll take that. Anything up here? No. It's a shitty day to be stranded at a lighthouse. Um, Joe's asking what kind of controller I'm... Oh, if I'm doing keyboard and mouse or controller. I'm doing um, a controller. I, um, I really like the Xbox controller. Um, it feels really good in my hand. And uh, for games like these, it just works way better for me than keyboard and mouse. I don't, th I don't think Excuse I can coordinate it's very well otherwise. DeWitt. Oh, I'm Duet. I guess you're expecting me? Of thy sins shall I wash thee. Oh, uh, hell no. From Sodom shall I lead thee. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Use basin. Are we supposed to use this basin? I don't really want to wash my sins. Let's see what happens. It's us. We're handsome. Good luck with that, pal. Yeah, Booker. All right. Is anyone here? Hello? So I want to do a quick shout out while I'm climbing up these steps to uh, to one of my partners, Tiffany. She got me this really cool dapper bow tie, um, and it is a um, 
uh, an official dapper poly horse bow tie. Um, more on that later when I talk about who I am and my identities, but uh, I identify as polyamorous and so um, I practice a type of relationship structure where you can have multiple relationships and um, um, I'll talk more about this later because uh, some, some of you might just be like, whoa, what the hell is that? Um, but in any event, um, she got me one of these bow ties and then she got one for her other partner. So I thought that was really cute and sweet. Um, so I'm going to wear it for today's stream. Thanks very much, Tiffany. Um, you rock. You're the best. Lexi Fatel um, tells us that um, uh, Infinite doesn't get quite as creepy as one or two, which is sort of, which is good for those of you who have that trigger. But <laughs> for me, who I kind of like the horror trope, I'm a little sad about that, but that's okay. Um, let's see what happens when we use the telephone. Hello? Absolutely nothing. Dick all. You push that button for no reason. I guess to find out that the line is dead or something. Okay. Be prepared. He's on his way. You must stop him. See. Is that a note to me? That's weird. So much of junk in here. Some bad shit happened. Like, holy crap. Somebody cut off their hand or something while peeling potatoes. That is intense. Blood everywhere. B. Trentley, uh, Tentley, thanks so much for uh, for lurking in uh, in my stream while you're rating on WoW. I'm honored, sir. I'm honored. Um, um, I believe uh, B. Trentley um, is uh, one of those people. So Shelved and B. Trentley are both people, and Lexi Fatel. Um, there's a lot of people here from Extra Life United. Um, I'll be talking a little bit about that as well during this stream, um, but... Um, you know, you can tell by the fact that a lot of them are here that Extra Life United is a really great group of people, um, and they're very, very supportive. I'm very thankful for you folks, to you folks, for being here. Thanks so much. It's so awesome. Um, okay, a view of the city lights in the distance. Oh shit! That is more than just a missing hand. Shit. Yeah, Booker said it. Don't disappoint us. What the hell is this nonsense? Pick up Silver Eel. Oh, I'll take his money. He doesn't need it anymore. Am I right? What's this say? In New Eden soil, shall I plant thee? Uh, it's weird. How did we get involved with the cult? The top. Wasn't this in the book? Or in the box? Uh, there were like scrolls and keys and such. Wait a minute, that card. Aha! Right. One, two, two. Clever. They really beat you over the head with that one. Whoa! Oh, it's playing a nice little song. What the hell is all of that? Doesn't anybody else see that? Okay, something's happening. Um... Okay, well, while we're waiting for this to sort itself out, I guess I could talk about um, me, talk a little bit more about me and who I am and um, why I'm worth... I mean, the reality is probably everybody who's watching already knows me to some capacity. Um, so for that, I'm very grateful. I have wonderful and... Oh, chair. I have wonderful friends uh, who are extremely encouraging people. Oh, more. Extremely encouraging people. Um, and so you really are like all of my chosen family. I, I, and I have family members who are watching too. Thanks so much, it really means a lot. But um, for those who might tune in after I post the video. Looks like they expect me to sit in their fancy chair. There are handcuffs on that chair. I don't know if I want to sit in that chair. Well, Booker does. Um, anyway, um, thanks very much for the support. For those of you who might be tuning in, um, I am from Calgary, Alberta, and that's where I'm gaming from today. 
Um, I, uh, where are my identities sort of like badges? My identities are very, very important to me, and we'll get more into that later. Hey, look, the handcuffs worked. I should not have put your wrists down. Whoa, shit. There goes our gun. Anyway, um, I uh, so I identify as a lot of different things, and uh, that's all really important to me. Um, um, so I said earlier that I'm polyamorous, which means that I have a diff I have a non-traditional relationship structure. Um, I'm bisexual. I am a gamer. I'm a nerd. Uh, I'm also a lawyer uh, who works in the city. Um, I'm a family law lawyer, um, but I'm a huge gaming enthusiast. I really love gaming. Wow, that looks cool. Neato. Um, I thought that I would uh, start streaming because of a lot of different reasons. There's a lot of inspirations for this stream. Um, one of the inspiration, I'll, I guess I might as well mention Extra Life United now. Um, Extra Life United was a um, conference that um, people, some people who participated in the Extra Life fundraiser kind of went to in Orlando, Florida. Um, Extra Life is a yearly fundraiser and it's there to um, raise funds for uh, the Children's Miracle Network, which is the children's hospitals. Um, so people from across Canada and America and sometimes um, different places of the world too um, video, uh, play video games for or any other kind of games for 24 hours straight and um, and they also raise funds to do that. Um, so it's, a, it's an incredible cause and I got involved with it about three years ago or so. And this year was the first time that Texture Life sort of, they tagged on to uh, Momentum, which is the conference that uh, the Children's Miracle Network Hospitals puts together every year to sort of celebrate their fundraising and look forward to what they can do next year. So Extra Life was sort of a feature of, of this um, this time and we called it Extra Life United. And so it was a video game tournament that uh, a lot of us went to. Um, so to make a, I, I think I'll talk more about this in a different stream, but to make a long story short, um, one of the inspirations for this stream was um, the people that I met. One of the greatest things about Extra Life United was I got to meet some incredible individuals. And of course, these are sort of, these people represent what I think is the real gamer spirit. You know, these are people who are kind and resilient and sharing. There's some pretty sweet artwork here. Find a way into the city, okay. Um, anyway, kind and resilient and giving, and um, um, a lot of them uh, stream as well. And uh, they use their stream, can't do anything but walk and look around right now. I'm trying out all my buttons. Um, anyway, um, and uh, it looked like a lot of fun, to be honest. And they use their streams in really interesting and, and awesome ways. Uh, Shelf Games is, um, is uh, a streamer who regularly streams uh, about three times a week at least um, and he plays through Dark Souls um, when he does that um, so anyway I watched his stream a bunch and I decided you know what I'm gonna give that a shot because that looks like a lot of fun and I'd like and I'd love to connect with people that way this guy is full of himself I want a statue like that right in my lobby I also want a majestic beard like that I don't actually really want a majestic beard like that but I do appreciate the beard um, yeah, anyway, so that was, that was one of my inspirations for, for streaming is, um, those people are awesome and amazing and I want to be awesome and amazing like them. We are in heaven. <laughs> the lamb, the future of our city. I think the game is like trying to drop some pretty serious hints about what, oh, money! about what we're supposed to be doing. Search gift, more money. Nothing. Oh, I figured out how you can run. Hooray. Money. Nothing. <laughs> uh, Shell's saying all shocks. Um, oh, Mixel, I'm sorry, which sign? Um, so this one says the lamb, the future of our city. The other one. Um, I'll do a shout out to Shell too. Um, he really gave me a lot of advice for, so this is in the womb shall grow the seed of the prophet. 
creepy. That's pretty creepy. And there's money. I'll take the money. Um, he really gave me a lot of advice uh, in setting up this stream. So thanks so much, Sheld. Uh, I really appreciate that. Um, that is super helpful, um, and it means a lot. Um, if you want to check out his stream, uh, please do. Uh, it's pretty fun. He streams on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Um, and he's a pretty chill, he's got a pretty chill and relaxed sort of style. Um, you know, it's just like hanging out with a bud, um, playing games. So um, check out his stream for sure. Uh, it's a lot of fun. Um, oh, it was back in the tower. Sorry, my friend. An audio log. Okay. Love the prophet because he loves the sinner. Love the sinner because he is you. Okay. Without the sinner, what need is there for a redeemer? Without sin, what grace has forgiveness? Glad you know. Oh, somebody followed. Let's see if I can... Raybeam. Thanks so much, Ray Beam, for following and for checking out. Thanks for being here. Um, <laughs> it uh, means a lot. Um, thanks, thanks again. So we'll resume game. So I should have, back when I was doing content warning and trigger warning, obviously there's some pretty heavy religious overtones here. If you're somebody who gets easily offended by that, um, uh, again, you might want to find something else to do. Um, <laughs> I'm not sure, because so, I, I don't think there's going to be any escaping that in this game. On this day, Exhibit A. There's a lot of water for being up in the sky. Oh! Rachel! My sister. Raybeam is my sister. So, she'll probably give me the most grief out of everybody. If the prophet had just railed against the southern beneath us, but not accept the three golden gifts of the founders, it would have been We have 15 viewers. That blows my mind. Thanks so much. Thank you so much for being here. That's awesome. Um, we are going to do a Bioshock Infinite giveaway. Um, if you're interested in that, I'm probably going to do it close to the end of the stream. Uh, that's sort of what streamers tend to do. I'm over talking to this guy. Um, uh, and I expect to finish probably in about like two, two or three hours, somewhere in there. Like from 11 o'clock. So one. But not the box One to two. This guy is also full of it. The way of the, free, uh, the this path of forgiveness is the only way into the city. Uh, is it someone new? Someone from the southern below, newly come to Colombia to be washed clean before our prophet, our founders, and our Lord. I just need passage into the city. Passage yeah. To the city. This guy's gonna now drown the us. Only way to Columbia is through rebirth yeah. in the sweet waters of baptism. Will hmm. you be cleansed, brother? That's another place you turn around and get back on that pocket. Might as well get it over with. Uh, I, I'm really curious about Booker's motivation, because I would be tempted to get back into the fucking rocket. Except baptism. Hey. I baptize you in there the name we go. of prophet. In the name of our founders and the name of our Lord. It's just like a ride. Sploosh. I don't know, brothers and sisters, but this one doesn't look clean. Oh, you fucker. Kicking and screaming and biting and scratching. Now what? Who's there? Who's there? Bring us the curb and wipe away the death. What okay. do you want? We have a deal to it. Open this door. So he's a boozer. I told you. Not gonna do it. Go uh, away. Okay, so content warning for alcohol addiction. <laughs> that might be a feature of this game. There's a gun and a badge. But we're a cop. Investigations. Okay. It's a PI. Whoa. Airships. 
Can't look around very much. Whoa! It was just a dream. Don't worry. It was just a dream. There are a lot of angry dudes looking down at us. Are these American... American presidents? Yes, they are. That idiot priest needs to learn the difference between baptizing a man and drowning one. Fills our lungs with water, so they may better love the air. Oh, good! It gives you tips on how to get to where you need to go. Oh, that guy took out some of our health. I guess drowning, sort of. That's fair. That's fair. Uh, okay, it's drink time. So, um, one thing you'll notice about me, along with my identities, I am also a huge enjoyer of beer. Um, so, uh, for the holidays, I got an advent calendar where you got a beer a day and I wasn't able to drink a beer a day. So I've got some left over, but anyway, today's beer is this winter. What is that? Crockle? I don't know. It's got a picture of a cow with horns on it. That's actually probably not a cow in any event. Here it is again. So we're going to enjoy some of that. Let's see what it looks like. It sort of has a brown color. Um, not, not bad. Head at the top. Some brown. Looks like a dark brown kind of beer. Um, oh, it smells really sweet and syrupy. It is very sweet. It's a little too sweet. Um, Wow, but it's it's got it like it's, it's sort of like a juice kind of flavor, which is weird. It's strong beer, so it's seven point five percent alcohol. Hold on to your hats. Mm. Not bad. Not bad. I would drink more of that. <laughs> uh, I just got a text. I guess it's noon somewhere. Um, well, you know, it's only twenty five minutes to noon, so. Um, what mic are you using to stream with? Oh, so Shell says that, um, oh, jo so Joe says, I've got backed up in the chat here. Joe says that um, there's gambling addiction uh, here as well. I guess there were cards all over that apartment as well. So again, um, there's gonna be some addiction issues. Um, I have no idea how this game's gonna treat them. I don't know if it treats it compassionately or if it sort of, usually games like this, um, they have a very uncompassionate view of addiction issues. So uh, be careful about that. Um, Shelved says, Infinite plays with some interesting themes with regards to religion and prophecy and how Tyrant wields those to their own ends. Oh, interesting. Okay, that'll be good. So there's going to be a power play thing at work here. And I guess that makes sense, obviously. There's uh, this whole society's built up around control through religion. So that's an interesting perspective. We'll see how that develops. Thanks, Shelved. Mixel wonders what mic I'm using to stream with. Hopefully it sounds okay. Um, and if it doesn't, give me some feedback. I'm really interested in your feedback, so feel free. Um, but I'm using a Blue Yeti microphone. Um, hopefully I didn't just cause really loud noises or, or anything like that by moving it around carelessly. Um, I'm gonna put one of the earbuds into my ear to make sure that I sound okay. Um, but um, I was using just the mic from the... Uh, from the camera and um, I found um, in my tests that it was very, very quiet. It was hard to compete with the game. Um, I was hoping to get away without buying a mic, but I couldn't. So I went out and I just did some uh, retail therapy and bought myself a mic. Um, mm -hmm. Lexi says, um, what is it? It sounds heaven heavenly. Oh, and Meeksel says it sounds good. Okay, good, good to know. Thanks for, thanks for letting me know. Um, um, you know, the mic, the mic probably does help me sound a little heavenly, but you know, it's me. So I'm going to sound a little heavenly too. All right. Uh, enough of that. Um, uh, what is Columbia, if not another arc for another time? Oh, so we've got, oh, that's, a, that's an interesting play up considering the last city was underwater. Um, they're kind of going with a Noah theme there. Um, I don't know if that was intentional or not, but I, I appreciate that. That's, a, that's a really deep, um, or a level of depth in their, um, what's the word I'm looking for? 
by the sword. English. I was an English minor in my first degree, and apparently it's completely failed me because I cannot figure out literary terms. The seat of the prophet shall sit the throne and drown in flame the mountains of man. Oh, the beer, sorry. Um, <laughs> um, so I can't really make that out. I'm not sure what that's called. Um, here's another shot of the beer, though. Um, uh, Mixel um, pointed out uh, that um, Lexi's probably not complimenting how I sound. She's probably complimenting how the beer sounds, which is fair. Uh, anyway, yeah. One thing you'll notice about me, too, is that I uh, never never turn down an opportunity to compliment yourself never never mm. it's our beard dude again something tells me that's the guy we're gonna have problems with some neat shots obviously the uh, game developers here put a lot of, of thought into how they wanted their game to look um, it does look pretty majestic it's uh, it's really neat good good call <laughs> Thanks, Lexi. She says, yes, the beer, but the sound is also heavenly. Um, hot dogs. I'm just going to straight up take this guy's popcorn. And he's not freaking out at me. What a nice guy. Take your hot dog, too. He's just looking at me. That's actually a little creepy. All right. Um, these people are just lovingly gazing up at their statue, or at this statue. Where do I need to go? Interesting. Alright, so obviously we're supposed to go the other way, but I want to check out and see what's over here first. Um, I like Pilgrim's Welcome. I like, um... Oh, see, there's stuff. Comstock. Then the archangel showed a vision. A city lighter than air. Oh, yeah. The Batman glass. I forgot about that. So, my niece is like the best gift giver um, because in. So this year, I don't know if Mike or Rachel, you were watching at the beginning, but uh, I was showing off the hat that she gave me. This year, she gave me this hat for Christmas, which is perfect. And, um, oh, I missed a note at the hot dog stand. Oh, well. Um, and, uh, and then last year she gave me a whole bunch of superhero glasses. She's, she's really good at that stuff. So somebody just texted me. Um, feel free to uh, post in, um, like, right in the chat, too. But if you're more comfortable texting, that's cool, too. But somebody just told me that I missed something at the hot dog stand. I'm just going to run over and take a look. Um, see what we can find. We're not too far away from it now. I can't see that note. There's um, a napkin there. This guy's covered in mustard. Holy crap. What is he doing with his mustard? I don't see a note. So I don't, I don't think one's here. We're just gonna carry on. Um, if you, uh, if you have any tips while we're playing, that's great. I really appreciate the feedback. Um, try to avoid spoilers or anything like that if you've played this game before. Um, obviously, games like this, it's a story game, so a lot of it relies on, on you know, um, twists and turns, and, and it's more fun when you experience those on your own. But if you have any suggestions for gameplay or for running my stream or anything like that, please feel free. I, I'm really interested in feedback, and that's how you get better. That is cool. I love the steampunk. Um, I mean, this game is just, it just defines steampunk as a genre, sort of. Steampunk was already a genre without it, but I just love how it plays into it. It does a really good job of it. <laughs> Shelved says that the, uh, the hot dog vendor really should take more pride in their work. Yeah, you might be right. It looks pretty bored. Oh, <laughs> My partner uh, just texted and uh, and says that I look adorable. Aw, oh, thanks. It's just because of the bow tie that you got me. Um, I don't know if you caught that shout out or not, but I give you a shout out for giving me the bow tie. Thanks a lot. Um, okay, so 
this part of the city just floated into view, so away we go. Oh. Yeah. Some creepy looking kids with some guns and stuff. That's good. Empty barrels? Why'd you put an empty barrel in my way? I don't know why I'm waste my time opening an empty barrel. Oh, cool. Um, Tiffany's other partner's wearing their uh, bow tie as well. I don't know if he's watching or not, but uh, we, we have this thing where we fist bump and we say poly horse. It used to be poly horse, um, but um, we learned that uh, Scott is the dark horse themselves, so um, they changed it to poly horse instead, and that is perfectly fair. Uh, okay, where am I supposed to go now? That way. Okay. What's up here? Yeah, I know. Is this way it came? I don't think so. Would you care for a Flowers. We're raising money for the girls um, okay, so while I'm running around, uh, what else can we talk about? I talked a little bit about the inspiration for the stream. Um, I guess I'll talk also about my collaboration project. Um, around the same time that I was thinking about doing a stream um, about feminist gaming um, I'm just going to talk right over this dude I'm assuming that you have that you can listen to these things again anyway um, another really good friend of mine um, a, a relatively new friend but also a really good friend um, was talking about starting a feminist um, blog um, and um, and having like lots of contributors um, coming to it and, and focusing on on gaming culture and nerdy culture and all that kind of stuff so feminism from those perspectives because to be to be perfectly honest and to be perfectly frank and I'll get into this a little bit more in my rant but um, feminism is missing from a lot of those really um, you know, prevailing kind of um, whoops six we're in the money um, a lot of um, of those kinds of um, cultures. Um, so um, I was really excited to that uh, that she was going to do that, and uh, and she and and I decided that we would work together. Oh, this is neat. Um, and uh, and put this together. So I'm collaborating with her, and what's going to happen is uh, I'm going to edit um, these streams and put them in t together in more concise uh, movies or videos or whatever, and uh, I'll post them to the blog um, as a contributor to her, her blog. And so the blog is going to be called The Damsel, which I think is amazing. It's a great name. Uh, uh, she came up with that, and uh, I think that's going to be a fantastic name. It's going to be a fantastic project. It's not out yet. It's not done yet, but um, I'll be loud, very loud about it when uh, when it starts to get developed. So uh, keep um, keep in touch for that because uh, it's going to be um, that's going to be a thing, um, and I'm going to be a regular contributor. I'm really looking forward to it. You, you can expect articles about um, various topics in in gaming culture. You can um, probably gaming reviews and, and all sorts of stuff. So it's going to be a lot of fun. There's some singers. God only knows. Jeez, oh, kind of taking offense to the fact that they just decided to float away as soon as I arrived. These guys are still dancing. That must have been some sweet tunes. Okay, let's go. Let's actually get some stuff done. Ah, Lexi says that she'd like to follow that. Lexi, for sure, I will. Um, I will definitely um, post about it um, and uh, keep you in the loop because yeah, really I'm, I'm really excited about that project. And hey, um, we're looking for your contributors. So, Lexi, if you really want, if you want, um, you'd be a perfect person to contribute to that blog. So, um, get in touch with me if you want to contribute, and I'll, uh, I'll connect you with Sarah Nell, um, who's the person behind that blog. I love connecting um, people who would work really well together, and I think you'd be a perfect fit. Money. I have $52 now for Silver Eagles. Okay, it's not really telling as much. It's just a view of the statue here. So far, the only statue bigger than that Comstock person. My good day to you, sir. Hello. And Marlowe's patented vigors, Murder of Crows. Sounds 
fine. Where am I supposed to go here? I'm just gonna... I feel like we're taking too long to get through this game here. I don't want to be boring or anything. Um, Lair, thanks so much for, uh, um, watching and joining. Um, I don't know if I'm saying your name right or not. Um, this is the first time I'm playing this game. Um... I played really briefly just to get a feel for the game so that I could figure out my stream and stuff like that, but I haven't played this game before. I played Bioshock 1, but not Bioshock 2. I've heard good things about this game, so here I am. Um, Lexi says that she'd love to contribute. Thank you. That's awesome. Put you in touch. Thanks, Shelves. Yeah, my first time playing through. Bucking Bronco. Okay. Find the devil, good sir, and cast him. Young sir, young miss, roll up and try the amazing power of Bucking Bronco. Whether you need to lift it off and toss the tumble, Bucking Bronco is just the dick. Press LT to use vigor. Vigor. And there's devil number one. That's fun. So in uh, Battleshock 1 and 2, um, you could get magical powers from like sea slugs. Um, this one looks like you can get magical powers from bigger as well. Um, yeah, I presume you're not supposed to hit the woman who's running back and forth with her child. Mm, lots of monies. More popcorn. A shooting one. 20 points to win the big prize. Okay. Let's do it. Uh, load faster. Oh, shit. I missed. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, got him. Two and one? Yeah, I can. 13 points. Holy cow, it takes forever to... Dang. Oh. Okay, cool. More monies, but I want the other monies too. Oh. In the interest of moving forward... More electrical horses. Horse is looking at me. That's a little creepy. Jeez, Lair riding in all the way from France. Wow, that's cool. Thanks so much for checking in with me um, from France. That's awesome. Um, and thanks for the good luck. I'm uh, really looking forward to this game. Um, um, hopefully, uh, hopefully the viewers are interested in this game as well. Another shooting game! I love these! Alright. Alright. Oh, you can zoom in. I don't know if I want to, though. Ah, shit, I missed. Oh, shit, these guys are fast. Damn. No! Oh, I'm not gonna get 20 points this time. Got her. Oh my gosh. Holy cow. Shoot. Holy crap. Oh, I got it. Okay. Okay, but I want the money. Oh man. What's this guy all about? Vending machine. Bucking Bronco. Well, that's the thing that we just used. And it costs 375, and I only have 102. Well, fine. It's too rich for my blood. What's this stuff? Voxophones. Oh, yeah, this is the stuff that we need picking up. What's a voxophone? 
What's a Voxaphone? Oh, he recorded this. Exactly us. that! A personal record of voice. Hey, just so we're clear, I'm not paying for this. Just a demonstration, sir. Brooker, you and I are on the same page. Hot dogs, hot dogs, Alexander Hot Dogs. Oh, oh my. Oh. I have. Liar. Honest. Nearly blew the windows out of my house. Okay, so um, as we're playing through, I guess I might as well. I'm a little behind schedule. I said I was going to do the dickhead of the of the week um, um, in 20 minutes of gameplay, and we are we are actually zooming right along. It's 53 minutes in, um, so I'm going to do the dickhead of the week now. Um, oh, that's big. That's probably going to be a bastard to fight. Um, in any way, in any event, each week what I want to do is uh, just highlight uh, somebody who I think is a dickhead and um, and bring them up. Um, and this sort of like goes back into calling people out. Use salt machines. Um, um, I think that it's really important for for us to call people out that are being dickheads. Um, and, um, you know, I mean, you don't actually have to come right out and call people dickheads or anything like that. You don't have to be aggressive like that. But I think it's really important to point at somebody who says something that's sort of out of line and say, you know, dude, that's not, I don't, I, I don't get, I don't get that. I, I don't agree. Because if you don't do that, then what happens is your silence ends up becoming complicit. Like your silence is a vote in favor of what that person is saying. So uh, every week I'm going to pick somebody out from, uh, from recent um, news who, uh, Free samples. Who I think deserves the title of Dickhead of the Week. Don't drink that. Don't drink that. Don't drink that. Yeah. That was a bad idea. Oh, we've got some serious tropes going on there with the combining substances with sexuality stuff like that possession Press to turn machines into I'll get to decade of the week here right after this I guess so we can take over machines which is what this is saying okay sweet was that? salts are full oh we've got a new um, we've got a new thing I presume that's our mana or whatever anyway this week's decade of the week um, is um, uh, Mr. Mark Mercer, who is the chair of philosophy at uh, St. Mary's University. Um, but this dickhead of the week is a little confusing because to talk about Mark, Mr. Mark Mercer, that dickhead, I have to talk about other dickheads. Um, so I don't know if anybody's familiar. Um, Canadians are more likely to be familiar with this than Americans. But um, um, there is this huge scandal going on at Dalhousie University, specifically with relation to the Dalhousie dentistry part of, of the university. Um, some, uh, some of the um, men of that um, faculty, some of the students, male dentistry students, um, got together and they put together a Facebook group called a Gentleman's Club, or Gentlemen's of Dalhousie Dentistry, or something like that. I don't quite remember what it was. But uh, this story broke, I think, earlier this month. And so they're not the dickheads of this week. They're dickheads of previous weeks. And um, so this gentleman's club, not only was it like a no girls allowed stupid kind of club, but it was also a um, 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 misogynist. Like they, they talked about they raided the, the women in their faculty. They talked about who they would have hate sex with and, and all that kind of stuff. It was, it was actually a really disgusting and deplorable um, site um, where, you know, I guess they were trying to harken back to the days where boys could be boys or something like that. I don't know what it was, but um, but it was really disgusting. And particularly disgust, disgusting if you take it in the context of, um, you know, these are professionals who are going to be working around multiple people while they're in various states of vulnerability. Um, you know, they really have a, a responsibility to... Um, do better, like way better. Um, so in any event, a huge problem with that. Um, there's lots of really interesting things to say about that, about um, the university tried a restorative justice approach to it at first, and that was thrown, sort of thrown out. And, and now they're coming out pretty hard against the this, this group. And uh, the president of that university has talked about uh, potentially expelling the students. Um, who were involved with that group, and I and I think that that's not a bad thing to consider in light of again, you know, these aren't just some kids or whatever. These are professionals who are going to be working with people, women, <laughs> who are, you know, under the influence of of um, um, 
drugs that make them more vulnerable to attack and all that kind of stuff. So um, I really think um, the university is right to be targeting these guys and, and to be telling them that that's not appropriate. So anyway, back to the dickhead of this week. The dickhead of this week, Mark Mercer, um, he actually, there's a CBC article that I wrote, read actually just this morning, and uh, Mr. Mercer um, is arguing that freedom of speech should really protect the those guys from um, any kind of recourse from the university um, which is sort of a dick thing to say um, it's not a, a dick thing to say um, like what what to be fair mark isn't saying um, that, the, that the laws of Canada protect these guys because that would be inaccurate that's actually not true um, in Canada we don't have a you know a freedom of speech kind of um, part of our constant well we do but it's different than the American version of freedom of speech we have a lot of serious limitations on our freedom of speech um, in any event freedom of speech wouldn't protect um, somebody from from you know their actions from a university um, what what's really um, what's I guess I'm using Mark Mercer here to sort of identify an argument that constantly comes up whenever you you see somebody sort of get jumped on for saying something horrible and terrible people hold up the freedom of, speech, uh, freedom of speech flag and they say you're not allowed to criticize them because they have freedom of speech. But that, that demonstrates, and, and you know, notwithstanding his position at the university, it demonstrates a fundamental misunderstanding of what freedom of speech means. Freedom of speech does not mean that you don't get to suffer consequences from what you say or what you do. Um, you do suffer the consequences of what you say and do. There are natural consequences to that. Um, that doesn't necessarily, so freedom of speech really ought to protect people from criticizing the government. It should, it should protect people from criticizing, you know, institutions, all that kind of stuff. But it should not protect um, bigots and misogynists and all those people from victimizing other people. That's what these guys did. They victimized the people in their faculty. And so to say that they should be protected, they should have some sort of, of you know, special status because, uh, because they get some sort of freedom of speech or whatever, well, that's just ridiculous. So anyway, um, that article and the paper that uh, Mr. Mercer wrote um, earns him the title, or at least my title, of Dickhead of the Week. So what do you guys think? I see that there's some chats here. I'll get to that here in just a second. And I'll start playing again right away too. I just found out that I can't play and talk at the same time, so I had to take a break. Um, Lair asked a question, can I explain Feminist Gamer? Um, he, uh, he or she thinks it means um, that girls have the same right as, uh, to play as men. Um, and um, on a, on a basic level, Larry, that's exactly right. Um, people are often afraid of feminism um, because they say that, um, you know, they say that they're, they're, they're radicals and they're arguing that women should be better than men and all that kind of stuff, and that's complete nonsense. If you look at what feminism is, it actually, all it is, is it talks about men and women being equal. Now, there's different ideas about whether or not um, we've achieved that. We haven't. We haven't, but um, you can sort of argue over that, but you can argue over the definition of feminism. That's what feminism is. Um, and uh, really, when you think about it in that, in that context, a lot of us are feminists. We're just afraid to identify feminism. Um, I'm actually gonna, my rant um, later here that I'll get to probably in about a half an hour or so, um, I talk about feminism and how we can work that into the gamer identity. Um, so if you're at all interested and if you can stick around for half an hour later, I'm gonna get into that conversation right away. Sorry, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to possess you. Yeah. Assemblyman Buford just took your spot. Heads. Come on, let me through. Heads. Okay, we'll flip the coin. Heads. Told you. I never find that as satisfying as I imagined. Chin up, there's always next time. I suppose there is. Those were the guys from the boat! I'm sure of it. Yeesh. That's a little rough. Drop the children from the sky. All that kind of stuff. What's this? Health and salt. Okay, so health is going to be the red um, um, thing, and uh, salt is going to be the blue or mana source, uh, probably. Um, we don't need any of that right now, but it uh, looks like we might... Oh no, I guess I do need salt. 
I just used it all up on that. Oh my god, I don't want to spend that much over here. I'll just fill up 25%. What's over here? Where am I supposed to go, by the way? Oh, I'm supposed to go this way. Okay. Coppers! That looks pretty deadly. That looks like fun. Alright. Um... Some chocolate and another video box. I'm not paying too much attention to those. Um, I've read all your books. I might go through them at, at another point. Mama says it's not a fit occupation for a lady, but I think she's jealous of our cleverness. Is it true that only you were allowed to visit the girl in the tower? Oh shit! The lamb is lonely too. When did we get I that tattoo? Like to meet her, as we would have much in common. What's Warmest that? regards, Constance. Does anybody know? Um, do you guys remember when we got that tattoo on our hand, the AD tattoo? Did something happen? I don't quite remember. I don't feel like we've been playing for that long, but... I do feel like we've sort of been walking around and learning about this game for a while. Um, that might be my fault, though. It's just the pacing of this game seems a little slow right now. What's this? Oh, it's another one of those machines. Yeah, I don't, I don't need it. Shell says, um, um, Shell says that uh, Dickhead of the Week is a fun segment, and um, he thinks it's uh, it's great to highlight those kinds of things. Thanks a lot, Shell. I really appreciate it. Um, I like. I, I, I'm probably going to fill in um, the gaming with a few more segments like that. Um, I'm going to always have a decade of the week, and I'm always going to have a rant as well. And the rant will sort of be the feature of, of the of the episode. Um, Shelved also tells us that the, ta the tattoo has always been there. It's time for the raffle. And this person's beckoning us forward. Sorry, no sale. <laughs> There's never a charge for the raffle. You've been sleeping under a rock? 77. 77. That's a lucky number. I'll be rooting for you. Okay. Me the bowl. Is that not the prettiest young white girl in all of Colombia? Whoa. <laughs> what did he just say? That's fucking bullshit. Oh, if you haven't realized already, I swear quite a bit. What's going on? First throw? Oh no. Bride. Green. Holy shit. Okay, so this is the racism that I was talking about? That is oh, so fucking awful. Holy fuck. I really don't want to throw. I don't. I hope this game... Okay, you can throw at the couple or you can throw at the announcer. I only have a little bit of time, but the answer is obvious in this case. I'm going to throw at the announcer. I don't know who is throwing these balls at the couple. <laughs> don't get me wrong. I love to play the villain. I really do. But that is that would be... Don't you know that makes you the backstab and snake in the grass, false shepherd? Oh, they found the tattoo. You know, if you think after seeing that sign, you'd keep your hand a little more covered. Okay, and here's the blood and gore that I was warning about earlier. I think it's just I think it's about to get more bloody. Press Y to melee. Oh my god. That's brutal. Hit that guy. Oh no, don't worry about these guys. God. Action! No. Nope. Oh. <laughs> there we go. Take that guy out. Oh, I can search corpses. Of course I can. And take their monies. You don't have monies. What kind of a policeman are you? Meeksale. There is a message not to pick 77. Oh. 
I obviously didn't get the message. No, you're right. I didn't. Um, I didn't see that message. Um, I don't. I didn't have a choice. I think they just. So that's just. I think this game's going to be sort of heavy with some of that foreshadowing. Um, here's some people. They close me off. Where do I go? This way. Towards these people. Whoa! Oh, that guy shoots me. Great. Oh, cool. I've got his gun. That's the way to do it. Another video box or video phone. I told you, Comstock. You sell them. Ooh, that was a lot of stuff. Adds the ability to possess humans who suicide when the effect expires. Uh, sure. I don't know. Yeah, Shelf just note that, noted that uh, things take a pretty sharp turn. They certainly have. Um, I really don't know if... Uh, these games always stress me out because I never know how to spend my money. Um, obviously, you have to make choices, right? So should I have upgraded that or should I have waited to save it for something else? I have no idea. Although it seems good to be able to turn some of the bad guys against each other. Press LT to turn machines or people and hold to create a trap. Oh, I Sheriffs cool. for every shore. <laughs> no menials in God's kingdom. Birdies. Well, I have a man in Georgia who leases us as many Negro convicts as Just you can board. Just fuel. Why, you can say they're simple Is this guy going to shoot me as soon as I go down? For rising above their station. Looks like it. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Eases your conscience, I suppose. Oh, okay, okay, all right. So that was a bad move. That is what you call a bad move. I should not have... Oh, my gosh, okay. Possess that guy. And maybe possess that guy, too. It was smart. Let's pick up some salts. Oh, you mean uh, buying the upgrade was smart. Okay, good. Thanks, Lexi. I appreciate that. Okay, shoot that guy. Or hit him. Or shoot him. If you miss the hit. Hit him. Oh, man. That is just brutal. Got that guy from really far away. Um, search. Stuff. Yay, stuff. I like stuff. More stuff? Money stuff. Oh, and a gun. I already have a gun, suckers. <laughs> uh, Meeksel gives me the pro tip of maybe possessing those turrets in the future. That's probably a really good idea. Good tip. Good pro tip. I don't know where I'd be without you guys. Where am I supposed to go? This way. Okay. That's real. Oh. Whoa. Whoa. Okay, possess that guy. There. Why do your own fighting when you can make other people do your fighting for you? Whoa! I should have possessed that. I did not follow Meeksil's pro tip. Whoa! Take that, buddy. Holy cow, there's lots of people shooting at me. My health is quite low, now that I see it. I should be more careful. I should be more careful. Oh, there's good there's stuff for health. What about you? Do you have anything for my health? You do? How did you know? Santa Claus came early. It's more people. Oh, you got me and I didn't get you. Fine. The fireman is here. I guess they're calling me the fireman. Oh man, they're angry with me. Um, I really can't take too many more shots. I need to be a bit more careful. Oh, good. <coughs> health bag. You really don't gain a lot of health from this stuff. Open the gate. 
getting hot. What's going on? Uh, what is going on? Oh, dude. Okay. Can I possess him? I can possess him. Well, that made things easy. Uh, why are you still running at me, dude? Oh, okay, okay, you were not supposed to do that. Okay. Okay. I thought you were not supposed to do that. I've learned something. Okay, nope, nonsense. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh my gosh. I'm on fire. That's not good. Health? Don't drink that. Yeah. That probably sucks. Well, that was a trip. Rest to throw a fiery grenade. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Something stuck. An explosive trap. <laughs> okay, in about 10 minutes, we're going to do the rant. That wasn't no sample. Um, in case anybody is sort of just listening to the background or whatever, um, I can throw fiery grenades or I can release traps. Okay. Whoa, I've learned my lesson, sir. Take that. Yeah. Face my turret. Say hello to my turret friend. I can switch vigors. Yeah, I figured that one out on my own. It would have been a little too late. Ah, <coughs> uh, Larry's telling me that I should... Whoa! I thought that wasn't supposed to happen! Anyway, Larry's telling me that I should drink it. Oh, I mean, I guess I get the grenades, right? The the flaming grenades, but um, it seems like watching your hands explode and incinerate into flames is probably a really high cost. <laughs> and Shell's game says, uh, uh, DeWitt literally said YOLO before he drank that. <laughs> uh, yeah. <coughs> Beef area. Okay. I hope that coughing isn't too annoying. Sorry, guys. Um, there's three more of these picture things. I hope they're not that important to the game because I'm just inclined to sort of skip them. Now that we've got some action, I'm so excited about the action that's going on that I don't want to take all the monies. Why are you following me? Hey, it's these guys again. I'm just gonna raid your bar, steal you right in front, steal everything right in front of your eyes. Oh, the cigarettes decrease your health. Ooh. Lexi says possession doesn't last. Yeah, but I thought that the that the uh, information on possession um, said that um, when it was when the effect ended, that whatever it was was supposed to like off itself. Was I wrong? Drink coffee plus salt. I'm full of salt. The difference between life and death. Okay. Shield. Oh. You mean I've been getting shot at and there were shields? Surprising that it worked. Surprising that it didn't kill you. Surprising that it worked. Repulsive field around one's body can come in handy. If it doesn't kill you. Uh so uh um Ray Beam uh, mentioning mentioning the ranch soda. <clears throat> um, for the for my extra life marathon, um, when I raised, I think it was five hundred bucks or whatever, I promised that I would drink a bottle of that awful ranch soda. If you don't want it, if you don't know what it is, look it up. But ranch is like one of the worst flavors in the world. I know some of you will disagree with me. Some of you will like ranch, but no, trust me, it's the worst thing in the world. Um, so of course my friends jumped all over the opportunity to get me to drink drink ranch soda, and it was awful. We did take a video of it. Sure, my hands are just gonna randomly explode in the flames that that's good that's healthy anyway we did take a video of it I, that video must be posted somewhere but um 
father. Yeah, that's what Ray Raven is referring to. Me today to write his biograph. Me. The man <clears throat> Lair brings up a good point. How is the turret supposed to kill itself? Now, True. When I smell True. Silver, so I say, I say, father, your flock would pay for a thousand. You know, oh, Lexi less. hypothesizes that um, bo bosses would be too easy to beat if all you had to do was Looks was possess them. I, I get that. That makes sense. I, that makes sense. One hundred will suffice. Maybe it's just the mooks that off themselves. I then. know how it ends. We are on a platform. The hooks. Ah, attach. No! Damn hook must be magnetized. How would I know to do that as a person? I just got the prompt. Like, there's no information about that. That's weird. All right, attach. That's freaky. Better hope the magnets are good. Oh, there's a dude over there. I want to dismount first. Yeah, of course there was stuff. Oh, my health is full already, though. Is that it? No monies? Well, that was a waste. Me too. <clears throat> I'm uh, reading my laptop here, but Mixel says that uh, related to the freedom of speech, another aspect is that he thinks um, he thinks it worth is worth considering is the space in which things are said. Um, so in this case, they are forming it in the context of a university group, which associates them with that space. The university, if they do nothing, is implying an approval of of, uh, of the message there, um, and they have the right to protect that image. You know what, uh, Mixel, I, I didn't actually consider that, but you're absolutely right. Like, I considered the space aspect in terms of Facebook. Um, people assume that Facebook is a private space, and it's not. It's a it's a semi it's a semi public space. Um, but uh, Mixel um, was talking about the the, pe the the students of that group. Um, oh, somebody just followed. Lair, thanks so much for following. I, I'm really, I'm happy to have you as a follower, and um, I'm, I'm really hoping that you can tune in with us uh, throughout throughout the season. Um, but anyway, getting back to what Mixel was saying, um, I think what you're saying is um, when you're linking the university to the message that you're giving, the university has a right to step in and say, "Whoa, that that does not um, that we don't share that view at all," and um, and we're going to you know um, act as if. Um, we sort of have a right to command our own name. Um, and, and that makes a lot of sense to me. That's a good point. Resume game. Where am I? I am like floating in the middle of nowhere. Okay, right. Skyline strike. This is going to be brutal. And it was. <laughs> he just jumped like he just fell off the edge. Can you like... There's like bodies just raining down from the sky. I don't know. I don't know why I'm so impressed by that. Hold to pick up machine gun. Yeah, I want a machine gun, but that probably means that I'm gonna get swarmed by a bunch of bad guys here. Do I want grenades or possession? I like possession. It seems to sort of do some of the work for me. Oh, possession doesn't work when you hit a wall. Okay. Oh, that was my shield, I think. Probably. Oh, good. Some salt. Oh, they killed him. You killed Frankie! You killed Frankie! Oh. Oh. More machine gun ammo. Uh, possess you. All right, but learn my lesson and know that I have to kill him if I'm going to stick around. Well, that wasn't really that helpful. Oh, there's another one over there. All right, possess one of those guys. Kill you. Oh, there's a turret. I see. How much ammo do I have? I don't have very much ammo left. I'd better be a little bit more careful. There we go. There he is! There he goes! Whoa! 
Oh, that person's like wearing a mask or something? They have like no eyes or whatever. Weird. Oh, I haven't been raiding corpses. I'm getting shot! There's a lot happening. Suddenly, it went from being a very slow game to a very fast game. There you are. Oh, there you are. Whoa! Okay, cool. I thought you could break into here. I'm just gonna rob this person. <laughs> Shell points out that it may have been Frankie's last day on the job. Poor Frankie. Oh. Mixel, um says that he can't help but to think <clears throat> of um, Mass Effect every time they call, us, call me the Fall Shepherd because, of course, the main character in Mass Effect is the sh or is Shepherd. Um, I didn't I didn't make that connection. I don't know why. I love Mass Effect. Played the hell out of that game. Good point, though, sir. Locked. Locked. Okay, unlock it. You have a gun. Optional quests give you the opportunity to find valuable resources. Day alert for a key that may open this chest. Oh, but then I have to remember. Where's the key? Shoot the chest! Locked. Pick up one. Yes, locked. I know. You've already said that. What do we have down here? Oh. All right. I'm not like the rest. I'm a progressive. Okay, something tells me you could probably shoot that guy. I'd feel really bad about shooting him though, so I sort of want to try it out though. Does, does anybody know? Can I can I shoot and kill this guy? Oh, Mixel or Mixel wonders whether or not there's a quest log. Good question. Whoa, objectives. Yeah, optional, you're totally right. Um, find the key that fits that lock. You've played video games before, before. good call. What else do I have in here? Well, that's neat. Oh, and then these are the video, or the, the audio vox things. Cool. That's a thing. Pick up silver bar. Hells yeah. Oh man, that was a lot of monies. And more candy for the health. That's good. Oh, I'm so glad that I broke into this place. And this guy's been totally cool. He's just letting me rob him right in front of his nose. <laughs> Lexi suggests that maybe I go analog and write out my own quest log. Yeah, that that would be a used toilet. Just cause. Yeah, you know, we could go old fashioned if you wanted, like that. Okay, let's not waste water. Let's turn that off. Alright, are we done here? Is there more to do? Oh, there's just that stupid chest. Okay, I guess we're done here. I haven't been shot at in a while. I bet we're about to be shot at again. <laughs> Holy yeah, take all that stuff. Let's switch weapons again. Oh, I still don't have very much ammo for this. So, if I had to guess, I would say I'm probably gonna get shot at as soon as I land. Well, maybe I'm being too careful. Too cautious. Meeting of the, the Columbia Friends of the Negro Society. Hmm. Okay, so so the game's challenging it, which is good. Um, I guess we'll just have to see how that develops. I'm probably not going to run in their guns blazing, though. Okay. Um... <clears throat> So in response, Mixel says, like adventure games of old. Um, and Joe says, my favorite analog gaming experience is drawing maps of the Keen's Quest and other Quest adventure games. Um, he may still have some on paper in an old box somewhere. And uh, Mixel says, yes, those are awesome games. Um, 
There's another game that was like that too uh, that I played for the NES. What was it called? It was like Fantasy Quest, not Final Fantasy. It was. I'm sure the game had fantasy in it. Mom, if you're still watching, um, you'd remember that. I remember you making so many maps on graph paper. Um, so feel free to pipe up. Um, what was that game called? But yeah, you're right. Those those were kind of fun. It was kind of fun to, to make those maps. Yeah, see, if I shot these people, I'd feel really bad. Oh, okay. Keep your voice down. Okay. More health. Oh, that filled me up. That's good. Is this open? It does. Oh, man. I feel bad robbing these people. But not that bad. Oh, there's a dude. Very sick looking person. Or he's sleeping. And I'm. Oh, there's another person. Fat is over here. Cigarettes. Do I subtract the health for? I don't think so. I don't think it's worth it. Oh, if I'd played that differently, I could have used the cigarettes and then healed myself. Pro tip. Oh, so Mixel suggests maybe the key was in the house where it was and maybe I left too hastily. That's a good point because now how am I going to get back there? Or I guess I could probably get back there, but um, maybe I should have looked a little more um, there is definitely people outside. Does he see me? It looks like he sees me. He does see me. Okay, that was foolish. <laughs> oh, what did they do to the other people? Whoa, whoa. Yeah, that's creepy. My shield is broken. Take cover. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. Stop shooting me. My shield is broken. Wait! Wait! Oh, that'll work. That'll do it. Um, oh, cool. I can recharge here. Let's get some... How am I, how am I doing for machine gun ammo? Not too bad, but it's only 8, so I might as well fill up. And again, I might as well fill up salts. Oh, I don't want to spend 67 on filling up on salts. I'll just do that. Whoa, 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 whoa. It's a good guy. Whoa, there, there's a lot of... I'm going to go back inside. No, it's another one of those peoples. This isn't good. This isn't good. I might die. Let's switch guns. Switch guns. Okay, what's hitting me? Holy smokes. I am almost dead. I cannot believe I survived. I am almost dead. Lexi suggests I possess the, um... So, I presume Mama Bear is mom. Thanks, Mom. Um, and she says that she can't remember. That's too bad. Um, and Lexi suggests that I possess the vending machine. That's a good idea. I wonder if it'll give me free stuff. What's over here? Pick up salts. I need some health. I badly need some health. What time is it? Okay. We're going to take a brief break, I think, while we hang out here and I figure out how I'm not going to just flat out die now. And uh, I'm going to do my rant. So uh, the way this is going to work is um, I'm just going to take a quick break from uh, from gaming. Um, whoop, that's not what I want. And... Uh, I'm gonna go, oh man, my green screen looks terrible. That's too bad. So one of Shell's 
piece of advice to me was to not have a green screen looks like garbage and apparently it was garbage you know what's happened i've just figured it out the uh, light um the natural daylight in my room has changed um and that has changed um my green screen so that's a challenge that i'm gonna have to figure out how to deal with in the future um i'm not gonna bother with tweaking with it for now we're just gonna have to deal with the crappy looking green screen Ugh, that's too bad okay well it's one of those tweaks we're gonna learn um, but anyway, I hope in the future to have like a little intro um, for uh, Dapper's Rant or whatever. So just imagine an intro right now where it goes whoosh, 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 rant. And uh, I'm going to open up my rant here. So um, so my gamer identity, like I said earlier, is really important to me. It's like um, essential and, and really core. It's sort of that kind of important. Um, and when I was younger, I had a huge problem accepting my various identities. I had a lot of who I was out of fear. And like so many of you, my childhood was featured bullies and the anxiety of just trying to fit in. Because of that, I suppressed a large part of myself through my childhood and even into my adulthood. And it wasn't really until my mid-20s or sometimes even my later 20s that I really started to fully explore and embrace who I am. Instead of running away from my interests and suppressing my enjoyment of my hobbies and denying core pieces of who I really am, I decided to plow right through them and openly accept and embrace them. Just whatever I found, if I liked it, if it felt good, instead of saying, no, this isn't cool, I was gonna say, yeah, I get this, I dig it, I'm gonna enjoy it, I'm gonna accept that identity. Through that process, nothing was off the table. I explored my political identity, my sexual identity, my cultural identity, my class identity, and yes, of course, even my nerdy identity. And it was such a liberating experience. I found so much. I found community, I found joy, I found myself. And while it was difficult, and it continues to be an ongoing and difficult process, it dramatically improved nearly every aspect of my life. The gamer identity was one of those important identities that I latched onto. And while it wasn't necessarily one of those identities that I shied away from as a kid a lot, it's still important for me as a fully grown sort of professional adult to allow myself to find enjoyment and openly embrace that pursuit. So I allowed myself to embrace something that I was afraid of when I was a kid. So for example, Magic the Gathering and Dungeons and Dragons and other tabletop RPGs. I also embraced video games and board games and card games and anything that was fun like that that brought people together despite differences. The gamer culture, society and community was a super important part of that process. And when I opened myself up, I found Import, like incredibly important new friends and new community, like the Extra Life community, for example. I also belong right now to two solid weekly gaming groups, and those gaming groups are really important to me. I found lots of people online who I connected with. I really actually finally felt like I'd found a home. Last year, leading up to Extra Life, I wrote about um, how wonderful and resilient and generous and giving gamers are. I wrote something like Extra Life was a perfect fit because gamers are good people. But there is something terribly wrong at home. And I recognized it when I heard online gamers calling each other fags and making horrible racist comments uh, about players that they didn't like. And I couldn't help but notice the way that we wrote hate into so many of our video games. You know, we're always killing terrorists and we're sexualizing women and we're laughing at minorities. And I observed you know, lots of horrible other things too in the culture at large. Like for example, the attacks on the alleged fake gamer girls and or fake fangirls or whatever. I don't know if you remember that or not. We'll talk more about that in the future, but that was one of those things. Now looking back on on um, on you know the gamer culture, I realized that it the entire culture is really a powder keg. And it shouldn't be surprising that things uh, like Gamergate, for example, spark and cause such terrible explosion that ripples across our community. Now we're going to talk more about Gamergate in the future streams, and for those of you who don't know what it is, for now I'll just summarize it as an explosion of hate towards the primarily female leaders in the gaming industry, and that's resulted in numerous attacks, hacker attacks, personal attacks, lots of horrible things. Now the impact of Gamergate has been profound. I've watched so many of my community leaders threatened and victimized and harassed for being leaders. Now, on the selfish front, that's an incredible and terrible loss. 
the creativity and the diversity that leaders like Zoe Quinn, Arnita Sarkeesian, Felicia Day, and so many others, the, the creativity that those people bring to our community is what really gives me hope when the umpteenth installment of the exact same fucking game um, is released for the umpteenth year in a row. For example, I'm talking about those Call of Duties and the Grand Theft Autos. Those games have been done. I've played them and they were eh, mediocre. Uh, why do I need to see the 10th or the 11th or the 12th installment? The creativity that uh, leaders uh, like the ones that I just mentioned bring to the, uh, the gaming industry is really the only hope that we have. We need to expand our scope so that we can grow as a culture. But I've watched the gaming community move aggressively to silence these people and that's horrific. In addition to the personal loss that I've experienced, the victimization of these people just because of what they represent, feminism and gaming, is incredibly tragic. So many of us have been victimized and bullied in the past and it's heartbreaking for us to see, uh, for, to see us do the exact same thing to members of our home. And this hate really is everywhere. Not too long ago, for example, I spent a while reading a comment thread on one of my magic um, online groups on Facebook. Now this is a local small to mid-sized group of magic players who are more or less really awesome people and they would get together and, and we just have a casual time, uh, have a couple of beers in a, in a pub and play some magic. Good people. But in that discussion I saw dozens of adults, you know, male players, um, who honestly had no idea, no clue what could possibly be wrong with playing with a playmat, that's something that you play in front of you and display to everybody around you, um, you play on, and th the playmat had a picture of a sexualized woman on it and the saying underneath it, I tap that. Nobody had a clue why that could possibly be wrong to, to use in a public and all ages event. If that's not bad enough, those same folks aggressively shut down and silenced the very few female members of that group who were brave enough to try to step forward and explain why that mat was offensive. And again, the male gamers totally and completely oblivious to it. So while my gamer identity was one that gave me hope, I realized that there's a toxic and awful part of gamer culture, and I've made the decision to reject it. I don't want to be complicit in that hate any longer and I don't want to buy into the abusive misogyny anymore just for the sake of my own gamer identity. I'm accepting that uh, gamer culture is so polluted with misogyny, if you look for it, it's there. You don't have to look very hard. It, so it's so polluted that it might be beyond saving. Now admittedly, this does leave a huge hole in my identity. I obviously still love games very much and I will always be happy to participate in any community that pull people together despite differences. But I realize that my identity demands less ambiguous definition. When I tell people that I'm a gamer, I tell people that I love games and, nerd and the nerdy culture that surrounds them. I love it all. But I also tell people that I stand against the hate and the fear and the toxic bullshit that has weaved itself into gamer culture. And I tell people all of that when I tell them that I'm a feminist gamer. So that's my very first rant on my very first stream. Um, I'd uh, I'd love to um, I'd love to hear what you guys think of that. Um, I'm going to throw a couple of questions out to the group. I'm going to get back to playing this game here. My uh, earbuds falling out. I'm going to get back to playing this game here. And uh, while I'm playing this game, feel free to um, discuss. Now, remember, in the discussion, we're not trying to have a debate here. So um, try not to get into a back and forth. Say your piece answer the question or whatever, and then let other people participate in the discussion as well. Um, I find that um, when you get into a back and forth, it gets pretty toxic and, uh, and it can be kind of scary for other people to participate. I really want to welcome that, that and encourage that participation. So the first question I have for you is, how do you identify, um, do you identify as a gamer and um, you know, what do you do when your identity confronts um, something that is horrible sort of within and, and inherent in that in that culture like how do you how do you reconcile that I mean again like I said my identity is really important to me what do you do about your identity if it runs into something that doesn't seem to stand with what you believe in okay so Joe suggests that I sing my intro um, <laughs> That's not, that's not going to get me friends. That's not going to make any friends. Everybody's going to turn off their sound, I think, as soon as they hear me sing. Um, Shelves, well said, sir. Thank you very much. Lexi, loved it. Great. Thank you very much. I really appreciate that feedback. 
Um, Mixel says the same thing too. Thanks. So that's what I hope to do sort of every week. I, I hope to have sort of a five minute rant or so about a, about a special topic and, and, uh, and, you know, a topic that may or may not spark conversation. Um, I'm going to shrink my picture here, my, my, uh, my handsome picture and, uh, oh, look, the lighting has changed in my room again and the green screen has improved somewhat. Well, isn't that something? I'm going to have to, it's I actually have a really bright, like I'm gaming in my room right now and um, it has a, like one of the reasons why I love it is it has a lot of natural light, but it's, it's really hard to, uh, to do something like this um, in it. Um, oh, well, my shirt's a little fuzzy too. Oh, my green screen is just, it's just taking a dive on me. Um, anyway, um, we've been gaming for an hour and 42 minutes. Um, we're going to game uh, for another um, probably half an hour or so, um, half an hour to an hour or so. And then I'm um, in about a half an hour. I'll do my um, Bioshock Infinite giveaway. Um, thanks so much for everybody who's been here so far. We're going to get back into this Bioshock. And again, so the question is, um, do you identify as, a, as a, I guess maybe what I'll do is I'll, I'll ask it more pointed. What do you think about the identity as a feminist gamer? Is that something that you think that you could adopt? Um, is that something that you think would, would reflect what you believe in as a, as a gamer? Um, I'm really interested to know what you guys have to say. And here we go. Oh, right. I'm on death's doorstep. So I hope when I... Oh, there's a, there's a machine. Okay, we're going to try to possess it. Oh, it worked. I don't know what the benefit of possessing it was. The prices all look the same. Are they? I've possessed it, but I don't know what it does. I don't know. The prices all look the same. Does anybody know what the what the benefit of possessing a uh, machine like that is? Oh my god. Oh. That doesn't help. We're just going to be patient about this. There we go. Okay, something bad happened here. I think everybody's running away from me. Shell says... Came by the wagon at dawn. Man was just... Ah. So, so that's a shame, right? So Shelf says that one of the reasons why he stopped attending his local store was because, uh, for Magic the Gathering stuff, was because um, the uh, the people there were sort of immature, and uh, that's difficult to gain. And, you know, and that's and that's that's it, right? That's just it. Is it? Um, you know, it's this toxic environment that sort of pushes the rest of us out, and um, that's you know that's not cool, right? Like, it's, gaming is here for all of us. Um, um, I don't I don't know why or how this this toxic misogyny ended up weaving its way into a, a culture that really should have been about accepting everybody. Um, I don't understand how that happened, but that's the, th I mean, that's the shame, right? Garbage can! Open in the garbage can. I'm gonna get shot. Do I go this way? Yes, I do. Comstock fights the serpent of nature, nations. Oh man, more racism. <laughs> Brutal. That cement is working for me now. Oh, the one that I, I, yes, I got it now. <laughs> I couldn't figure out what it was that you were talking about. Um, and Lexi Fatel says, ah, see, and that's the thing. It's just horrible. So Lexi Fatel says that she never got into tabletop gaming because it's so uninviting to, to girls. And, and that's, 
and that's the reality. I totally believe it. That's exactly um, the bullshit that, that puts it there. I mean, that's why when you go to a Magic the Gathering tournament, I used to go to a lot of those, and I still do occasionally. That's why when you look out over, you know, there, there could be two or three or four or some. I've been to tournaments with, like, thousands of people in them, and the percentage of the ratio of women to men is unbelievable. Um, that's why when people think that there's no place for feminism in gaming, I, I, I just, I don't need, I, like, I feel like we're talking completely different languages. That can't be even remotely true because obviously there's a huge problem. There's a, you know, there's a reason. It's not that girls don't like magic. I've, like, most of the women that I've introduced Magic the Gathering to really enjoy it. It's just that the culture is so misogynist. There are people in there. I don't know if I want to go in there right now. All right. I think, where am I supposed to go, first of all? I'm supposed to go up there. I guess I'll take a look in this room. There are people in there. I'm going to start a fight that I probably don't want to. Are you guys nice? No, you're not nice. No, you're not nice. I'm, you're running away, but I'm going to shoot you in the back anyway, because you have a red thing above your head. That's how games work. Okay, search corpse. That guy probably didn't deserve to get shot, but... <laughs> Gotta be a little cautious in games like this. Oh yeah, and he had nothing. I shot him in the back, and he had nothing. It's horrible. I'm a horrible person. So S Ghost um, says that uh, their store is a pretty welcoming place, um, which is good. I'm really glad uh, that uh, there are some places out there that are more welcoming than others. Um, I think it goes above and beyond just the the place that you're gaming at. Um, I think that there there has to be a real um, effort that's expressly made to um, um, make it a safer place for gamers, um, all gamers. Apparently, I am drunk. <laughs> oh man, I hate these effects. They always make me dizzy. Um, like, um, for example, in uh, Magic the Gathering, like, for the longest time, it's actually a lot better now, but for the longest time, they were making, like, so many of their cards and then their artwork was, was extremely misogynist. And so I don't know how you get involved in a game where, you know, if you're a female, for example, and you're represented so terribly. Um, I, I wouldn't get involved with that. That's garbage. Raybeam, again, my sister, uh, I've been bugging her to try to start skiing with me. I think, I think actually she'd enjoy it more than she says it does. She does, but um, she says that she'd rather play, ooh. Ooh. Um, she says that she'd rather play magic than ski. That's the inside joke there. Okay, so uh, Shelf says that it is important to identify as a feminist gamer and to try to make some drastic changes from within the community to make it more welcoming. Um, and as a matter of med education, you know, he says that it's important to point that out to people um, about their attitude. Um, and he notes that, you know, that sort of helps them grow and become a better person. And, and on a personal note, sort of notes that um, that's that's how he grows as a person is when people challenges his his point of view. And I appreciate that. I think that that's really good. I mean, that's how I grew too. You know, I, I've I've changed a lot um, in the last decade and more, and that's because I've been confronted with all of these really interesting ideas. I've been confronted with my privilege, and I and I've and I've learned and I've grown through that. And I think that, um, you know, in the very least. Um, being more vocal as a feminist gamer, that gives you the opportunity to um, 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 help other people grow too. Mm. So, uh, and then Mama Bear T. I don't know if you meant to say Mama Bear T or just Mama Bear, but in any event, 
um, says that uh, gamer girls have actually always been thought of as extremely weird. Um, there's something wrong with you um, because um, you're either ill-equipped to deal with life or there's some sort of you know sexual deviance involved there or something like that. And um, unfortunately, it hasn't really come much further than that in, in Mama Bear T's opinion. Um, if you're a girl who games, you try not to mention it if you want to play those games because otherwise they'll be ostracized somehow. Good point. And really sad. I'm just going to go ahead and possess one of these guys. I, I can't imagine that the people wearing the pointy hats and marching in a cult-like fashion are good people. I'm making assumptions. Yes. I am right. Why are you looking at me? Don't run at me. Oh man, this is a massacre. I actually sort of feel bad now. Oh, no, I don't feel bad. So there's one dude with a gun. There's a couple of dudes with a gun. Man, these people take a lot of bullets. So do I. I would take one shot and then I'd be out. I'd be like, okay, that's it. I give up. You guys win. There's a key on that table. Oh, look, I can upgrade something. Choices. I'm not going to upgrade my salts because I feel like I have enough of that for now. I could use with some more shield, though. That's what I'm going to do. Upgrade shields. Don't know if that's the right call. Whoa! There we go. Take care of him. Oh, I thought you were done. You were not. say that I feel like I have enough salts and I actually don't have any left right now. Comstock! Why is that guy screaming Comstock? I guess that's the battle cry. Beat you up. That's a weird costume. Oh! You broke my shield. <laughs> I guess I'm going to break your neck. Fair trade? Yeah. Um, Lexi has another good point. That it's a real shame that women can't game and also embrace their sexuality at the same time um, without being painted in a negative light. Like, you've got some sort of ulterior motive for that. And that's, that's... Yeah, I mean, I, I, and um, I think that that sort of has something to do with the misogynist sort of history and tradition of... Um, trying to disempower women when it comes to their own sexuality, right? Um, anything that, you know, the patriarchy can kind of do to um, reduce your ownership over your own sexuality, it, you know, anyway, that's what they're doing. It is hard to talk and play games at the same time. Hey, the radio is talking about us. Oh, I'm almost out of bullets. Anybody speak Latin? Probably not. I don't know if that is even Latin. Salt. I need it. Whiskey increases your health but takes away your salts. That's not a good idea. Again, if I'd played that differently, I could have... Well, I needed the salt anyway. Monies! Monies! Oh. Something behind here. Gear. Grants has special abilities. We're going to have four at a time. One per type. Manage from the gameplay menu. Okay. Pants. I've got pants. Deadly lunges. Lungers. <laughs> I've got I've got images of somebody working out in the gym and lunging. And it's deadly. Uh, melee range strike increased by 3%. That's cool. Do I equip it automatically? It looks like I do. Equipped item. Yeah. Looks like I do. That's good. Ooh, who are they keeping in here? Anything? Yeah, that's good. 
I thought that was glowing. Provisions. Oh, I didn't need the health. I shouldn't have wasted it. Oh, okay, so uh, Larry's got an opinion here. Um, Yeah, so, and uh, Shell supporting Larry's uh, opinion there. Um, so to summarize, I think what you're saying is, um, is that, you know, you were raised in a certain way that there's no, that there isn't really that much of a difference between men and women, and uh, that there's no reason why, um, because, you know, men and women are the same and they're equal, there's no reason why a woman can't be a gamer, it's just the same as a man can be a gamer. And I think that's bang on. I, and again, I, you know, I think that that's sort of what, you know, a feminist view would be. Um, do I want to go this way? I do. Chinese prisoner. I'm nervous about that. Oh, that's not good. Oh! Shoot that guy. That was not nice. I don't think I'm going to be able to possess him. I'm just going to go right to my flame grenades. F you. Holy cow. Where are you? I can create a trap this way somehow. Where are you? Burn you. And shoot you. Well, that was quick. What's this? That wasn't that bad. Murder pros. Man. Sorry guys, my controller was vibrating on my desk. Well, that wasn't nearly as horrific as watching your hands burn. Nest to summon murderous crows. Hold and release to create a nest trap. The nest trap. That's cool. Okay. Crows. Why not? I don't need any of this. I need the money. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, I should have saved that. Send up my crows. Holy crap balls. That sort of snuck up on me. Whoa, send up more crows. Okay. One of you mofos better have some food. No, nothing. A little bit of food. Lexi says murder crows is your favorite. Why, why is that, Lexi? Why is like is it just because of the flavor, or is it strategically superior somehow? New hat, a burning halo, a seventy percent chance of setting a me t t melee target ablaze. Yeah, I'll wear that. That sounds like a pretty dapper hat to me. Increases my health, but reduces my salt. I don't think I want to do that. Okay. Uh, Lair is uh, saying that Charge of the Horse is a good uh, vigor, too. Can't wait to give that a shot. And Ray Beam. Yeah, so um, Ray Beam's talking about her little girl um, and how she's exploring her own nerdy identity and how horrible it would be for her, um, you know, that her little girl is somehow being um, shut out of that and, um, you know, sexualized just because of who she is and all that kind of stuff. So good point. Um, you know, I think that that's a, I think that's a really important reason why we need, um, you know, feminism in gaming. And that's for the future of these future gamers who have just as right, just as much of a right to be gamers um, as anyone else.
food. I have to say, guys, so far so good. Like I was a little nervous about starting this um, this stream, and I was nervous about like you know fire and brimstone being passed between viewers and all that kind of stuff. And for the most part, people haven't really had that much of a different opinion, so there hasn't been an opportunity for that. But the way that people are writing their opinions and everything like that has been super respectful. I really appreciate that. I mean, I I sort of expected that from from the group of people that um, you know that signed up. Um, but um, thanks so much. This has been a lot of fun so far. And we've got another probably um, 15 minutes, and then I'll start my... Um, oh, these people are trying to turn me in. Anyway, we'll start the uh, giveaway here soon. Can I just sneak by them? Nope, I have to shoot them. Murder of crows? Murder of crows. Oh my gosh. That's horrible. Oh, I set him on fire! Ha! Ah! Broke your neck casually. Man, that melee is brutal in this game. Did the fire hurt me? I probably should not have stood in the fire. Okay. Okay, so crows are cool, just flavor. Lexi says crows are cool, cool just flavor-wise, but um, but the nests, so that's the the trap that you can place, are really good for crowd control. So I'll have to practice using that because that that sounds that sounds reasonable. Oh, where am I supposed to go? Oh, I didn't even have to shoot those people. Oh well, if I wanted to steal their stuff, I did. Oh, that was just a whole different side tour. Oh man, we really have to give her. Take you out. <laughs> oh. I don't know if headshots makes, um, increases the damage that you do. I usually try to aim for headshots just because that's how first-person shooters work, but, um, yeah. Uh, my chat disappeared. There we go. Bigger. All right, let's see what I can buy. Crow trap aid and devil's kiss aid. Oh, I don't have the money for either of those. Those are expensive, yo. Holy shit balls. Oh, that's cool. That's not quite as cool. You're right, crows are quite a bit cooler. Okay, I'm gonna try to save some money and not um, increase my salts or my health. I'm just going to have faith that I'm going to find enough salts to get me through. Okay, those people are going to try to shoot me. Okay, so I'm going to try this crowd control method. And put a trap here. To protect... Oh, I don't think I have enough juice to make a trap. That's too bad. Crows! They see me. See, my plan was to leave a trap there and they come around the side so that they couldn't flank me. But the nice thing is those scrolls are keeping them busy. Oh, it would have been nice to possess that thing. That's too bad. Do you have salts for me? You do. There's salts way over there. <laughs> see, now they're probably flanking me. Oh my gosh, get out of here. Whoa. Whoa. Shield's back. Alright, you want to play? Let's play. Holy crap, you can take a blow. Holy smokes. I don't know why any of these people are not thinking about flanking me. Oh man, I thought I shot you like four times. 
Whoa! Got you. I don't know what that guy's doing while he's watching me break his friend's neck. Surrender. Oh. No, that's not what I wanted to do. Oh, this person flanked me. That person wins the gold medal. <laughs> Just destroy them anyway. There's more people here. Oh, I need more juice. No. All right, now you're mine. I vanished! That's what she just said. Why aren't you shooting bad guys? I can't let you live much longer. Don't damage your allies. Yeah, that's set. Okay. Yeah, that's easy. That was a bad tip. Okay, I think the action has died down. Maybe just enough for me to check the chat again. I see you guys are having a good discussion. I want to play. Uh, my health is full. Yes, so I'm going to do this right. Increase my salts, decrease my health, and then increase my health. Okay, what are you guys saying? Okay, so Mixel saying that um, um, that uh, that they're one of the issues in gamer culture is the sexualization and objectification of women in, in gaming. But that doesn't mean that sexuality should be erased or, or anything like that. And that makes a lot of sense to me. Um, I think what it really comes down to is who has the control um, in those situations. Um, you know, are we? Uh, it, is, is gamer culture taking that control away from women or, or empowering women with that choice and that control? Um, and yeah, okay, and Lexi's saying if you're gonna use um, women as scenery, make sure that you're also using men as scenery, making that a little bit more equal. I think, uh, you know, I think it goes a little bit further and I think that you need to sort of be over, like be more sensitive to the, to the potential harm that you're, use, you, that you're doing as a game developer or as anybody, you know, in the gaming industry um, when you're choosing, um, you know, the imagery, the scenery that you're using, you have to be a little bit more sensitive, I think, in light of the history of over, um, objectifying women, I think. But you're right, it's a really good point. We should be using menace scenery as well. Yeah, and somebody, uh, Mama Bear, saying that there should be choices. There's no, you know, when you're talking about slutty costuming and all that kind of stuff, it really should be choices. There should be a range of options. Yeah, and then there's some support for that. Okay, Lara, thanks so much for coming by. You say you have to go. Um, I really, uh, really appreciate you being here. I'll be back next week at Sunday. So we're, we're streaming next week on Sunday. That's going to be the normal time. It's just the holiday madness made me stream uh, on a Saturday today. But um, I really appreciate you stopping by. You've made some really good points. And um, thanks, for, uh, thanks for following. Yeah, and then some everybody saying goodbye. Okay, so we're going to play for another, um, another 10 minutes. And then we're going to do our giveaway. What's going on over here? Just raid this whole part here. Um, okay, so that'll take away my health. Is there anything that increases my health? Oh, well that seems silly in here. There we go. Uh, Vigor Vendor, what do you have for me? Same stuff. Way too expensive. Okay. I forgot that I had full... 
<laughs> that looks like fun. We're sorry to say that Monument Island is off limits. You've got to go. Workmen should proceed to the island by means of the skyline. Oh, good. Sky Lots of salts. Those things them coppers came riding in on back by the lot. Okay. Yeah. When you're close enough to the skyline, you can press A to get on it. Holy crap. I hope this isn't making anybody else as sick as it's made me. Whew. Get that guy. Get that guy too. Yeah, there's stuff. Lots of beer. I just want the money. Oh yeah, cool. I'm glad I stopped. Okay. Do I want to go for just total shield or... Eh, let's increase my salts. Nice. Was there money? Did I miss money? No, it's just blood. Get back on the ride. Yeah. Can I just jump? Yeah, get that guy. Boom. Oh. The guy erupted into flames for some reason. That was incredible. And the Lord saw the wickedness of man was great. Full of salt. And he repented he had made man on the earth. Let's clear the line. Rain. Forty days and forty nights of the stuff. And he left not a thing that walked alive. You see, my friends. Even God is entitled to a do-over. Whoa. This is cool. Can what I? Is Columbia, oh, man. Not another arc. That's cool. For another time. Can I jump off again? Oh, I'm gonna have to fight here. Get that guy. He's gone to ground. Oh, they didn't see that. That was a stealth kill. There's stuff here. There is stuff here. Machine gun ammo is full. Okay. So who do I want to take out? What's the better position? Feel like this guy than the other two. There we go. That worked. Skyline up above. I like it when a good plan comes together. Elevation, I could probably. Out of limits. See what happens. Who's talking? Oh, I'm supposed to get up there, but that guy's talking. There we go. Whoa. Go back to murder crows. Whoa! I did not realize that I was so low on ammo. Aha! It's a roller coaster. Well, I'm going backwards. Oh. Yeah. Alright, when we get to the end of the line, we'll do our giveaway. So, if you want to be in for the Bios Bioshock Infinite Steam version... Oh, wow. I'm just gonna... Oh. They're not shooting me. I kind of feel bad. Yeah, so if you want to be in for the uh, Bioshock Infinite giveaway, um, post on the chat and say that you do, um, and I'll write your name down and uh, we'll randomly pick it somehow. So um, remember that it's a Steam version of Bioshock. That's what I've got. Um, so um, um, you'll want to make sure that you have Steam. Um, we'll do that very shortly, as soon as people say they want it. I feel like if I don't waste these guys, they're just going to shoot me later, but I feel bad shooting them. 
Oh, it's the dude! Oops, I didn't need to shoot crows at him. That was a waste. The Pinkertons, the drink, the gang, and of course, Anna. Hmm, this guy knows a lot about us. To repay a debt, you've come from my land. Not all debts can be repaid, Booker. You don't know me, pal. You don't know me. You ain't all that in a bag of chips. As blood as you. The video conferencing technology. You know why these men will die for them? Because I've seen their future. In the, the world's longest lift. And hence they are content. What brought you to Columbia, Booker? Bring us the girl and wipe away the debt. This will end in blood. It always does with you, doesn't it? It always ends in blood. Whoa! You've come to lead my lamb astray, but thy crook is bent and thy path is twisted. twisted. Go back to the Sodom from which you came! I don't like you. I'm going home. Oh, I could have left. That was silly. Are you guys going to just start shooting me now? Good. Whoa. If he was going to shoot me, why didn't he just shoot me? These guys probably are going to shoot me. Yeah. They're, the truce is over. Is there anything over here? I'm just going to... Just going to hang out here and shoot people. Okay, so so far only Mixel is the Mixel is the only person who said that they want it. So I'll give it another few minutes, and if no one says that they want it, um, uh, Mixel will win. Um, if you uh, um, if more people want, I'll use that tool that uh, Shelf just told me about. That's a good tool. Thanks for uh, thanks again for you know, extra advice. So I guess when the crows go in, I should I, gotta find I should take advantage of the confusion. And start shooting. I've just been trying to let the crows do all the work, but that's not doing. That's not working very well for me. I'd almost rather possess them. Open door. Hello. It's okay. I'm not gonna hurt you. Okay. Uncomfortable with leaving me sure there. This thing going. The Lord forgives everything, but I'm just a prophet, so I don't have to. Oh, amen. Amen. Yeah, see, yeah, that's Jesus. That's hell out of here. Escape the Zeppelin. Great. Oh man, that's a horrible way to go. Okay. How the hell do we get out of here now? Oh. I like jumping along the line. I wonder if you can kill yourself that way. Oh. I'm gonna dismount behind that just in case I need to cover. I don't. Oh. Oh, sorry, Raby. I didn't see that you were in there too. So there's a currently a 50/50 chance. A few more minutes, and we'll do the draw. I don't need any of that. Oh, I might need to. Um, yeah. Yeah, I like the ammo. Oh, I should have checked first. Yeah, no. Still way outside my price range. Let's leave area. Okay, actually, you know what? This is a really good good time to do the draw. So, I'm going to try this tool. So, um, where's that link? 
There. Oh. Min. Okay, so Mixel is going to be one, and Raybeam is going to be two. And drum roll. Who's the winner of the Bioshock Infinite? One. I said Mixel was going to be one, right? I think so. So, um, sorry, <laughs> sorry, Rachel. <laughs> Uh, Mixel wins the uh, the Bioshock Infinite. Um, if we're not already friends on Steam, I, you know what? I don't actually think we are. Um, we all need to add each other, I think, so that I can send it to you. Um, if you could um, send me a Facebook message or something like that with your Steam information, I will make sure that that game gets to you. Or you could add me on Steam. Um, my uh, my handle on Steam is Dapper um, and that will work. Um, Okay, I actually also think that this is a really good time to uh, end the game because um, we're sort of, you know, in a place where probably a whole bunch more shooting is going to happen and a whole bunch more momentum. So um, we have been... I'll we'll just pause this. We have been gaming for two hours and 23 minutes which is pretty good um, and actually went by really fast uh, again thank you so much so so much for being here uh, so so appreciated um, it meant a lot to me to um, have so much support on my very first stream um, if you liked what you saw uh, feel free to follow me um, I very much appreciate your follows um, if you are just um, watching the video because um, you weren't able to be here for the live stream, um, feel free to check me out at www.twitch.tv slash dapperneve, D-A-P-P-E-R-N-A-V-E. I'll post the link somewhere. Um, and we, uh, my, my intention is to run a stream about once a week. It's not going to be once a week because I'm just, I'm so busy with other things that uh, I'm not going to be able to get to it every single week. But um, I want to run it on Sundays at 11 o'clock a.m. Mountain Standard Time because I'm in Calgary and um, I have to uh, listen to so many people use Central Standard Time and all that kind of stuff. We're going to use Mountain Standard Time. And um, yeah, um, check back next week. We're going to have another Dick of the Week and um, we're also going to have another rant. Um, we're going to talk about something current. Uh, I'll post uh, about what it is that we're going to talk about soon. Um, also, I'd love your feedback. Um, so um, what did you like? What didn't you like? What worked? What didn't work? Um, um, point out the technical difficulties. Obviously, we had some serious technical difficulties at the, um, at the, at the end there. Or sorry, at the beginning. Um, so thank you very much for your patience in uh, getting through uh, that. Um, yeah, um, that, so that's episode one of season one, Bioshock. Um, we, to recap, we've landed in some sort of weird and strange place. Um, where racism and ho other horrible things are running rampant and uh, we have to f somehow find a girl to erase the debt something along those lines um, we've been uh, discovering vigor and shooting people and sending crows after them and all that kind of stuff and it's been a lot of fun and it has been a lot of fun with you guys um, the discussion was great um, and your support is amazing thanks so much and uh, that is the um, end of the stream in the future I hope to have sort of something to make this a, a, a little nicer like a um, so I had the intro before, um, some sort of ending, but I don't. So imagine, picture an ending, and I'm not going to sing it, Joe. Sorry. Dabber Uh Thanks very much. Adios. Cheers. <laughs>